Well hello and welcome to my David Wilson out and about YouTube channel. This morning I'm out for a circular walk, it's around about four miles. Uh, it's quite a chilly morning, it's around about 9.30 and it's about 8 degrees and I believe it's going to get up to around about 10 but I'm warm enough as it is walking although in my backpack I've got, uh, or my day pack, I've got a fleece and I've got a, a rain jacket just in case. So, without further ado, let's crack on. As you can probably hear on the video, I'm still a bit chesty, so uh, I do apologise if I'm breathing heavy. It's just the tail end of that so-called super cold, but um, I'm certainly getting there. And it's just nice to be back out in the woods in the fresh air again. Well, while I'm relatively local, well, I'm actually nine miles away from home, but uh, I call that local. I thought it'd be, this would be a good opportunity to test out my Garmin E-Trex X22 again. Because on one of my walks recently, I was struggling with the route that I planned. I think it may be a combination of a very, very small screen and me trying to record at the same time as... Uh, walking the route i mean basically i'm a man i'm trying to multitask not a great idea well using my garmin i've already gone off track but um i'm keeping an eye on it and i'm finding my way back i'm not too bothered i'm in woods and i'm just enjoying the walk i'm not sure if it's picking it up to the left of me i can uh hear the a2 motorway which is uh a bit of a shame but it's there can't do nothing about that it's quite muddy underfoot not quite boots weather yet obviously I'm I'm still wearing my hiking boots and I'm trying to avoid the larger mud puddles but it's quite hard because they're now covered with leaves so it's a they're camouflaged they're hiding so I am getting a little bit mucky and once again, schoolboy error, I haven't brought a spare pair of shoes. I do keep forgetting that. Because what I was thinking of doing after this one is uh, popping to my local pub for a pint. But obviously if my boots are too muddy, that's a no-no. I'm currently following the purple track. There's there's quite a few tracks in here, blue, um, purple and red. There's more than that, but that's uh, all I can think of. Whereas actually what I tried to do to use the Garmin mapping my own route, route, I should actually be on the red trail at the moment and jump in between red and purple. And that's what I'm trying to do is get my head around the Garmin so that in future, especially when I'm much further away, especially somewhere like Scotland or 
or Dartmoor when I'm hiking and wild camping. Um, I don't want to be messing around too much, constantly going off trail. The only thing I will say is this purple route is running parallel with the red. The red is just probably about 20, maybe 30 meters over to my right. So shortly I'll be able to turn right and pick up my original trail. Oh, there's a green trail as well, judging by the marker post. So I think this is where we go right. And hopefully I'll pick up my original trail. It's all trial and error, but uh, I want to master the thing before I do anything big again, you know, sort of more like, you know, 12 mile plus hikes. Because uh, it get a bit tiring if you end up doing an extra five miles, unnecessary miles. Very well way marked in this woods. I mean, you, don't, you certainly don't need a Garmin, but I mean, obviously just pick your track and follow it. And wherever you go, it's showing you the exit point and there's a, a calf, how to get back to the calf, the car park. So uh, yeah, very, very, very well laid out and simple to follow. It's very nice once you get away from that noise it's just uh, I can just hear it in the distance now that's purely because I know it's there other than that uh, I don't think you'd hear it and the other thing I'm trying to do today because it's a very very bright day although very fresh I'm trying to <laughs> do all my filming away from the Sun uh, fortunately I'm using my DJI Pocket 2, which has got dual screens. So if I am trying to film myself and I see a load of glare in the background, I just delete as I as I go. It saves me doing it in uh, post-production. Absolutely beautiful woodland. Now I've been on this walk about 45 minutes, maybe an hour now. Um, stopping and starting for, for filming. So it obviously takes longer. And so far from leaving the car park, I've met two ladies with their dogs. So two dog walkers together, that's it. So, yeah, it is the beauty of coming out midweek. Well, it's a Tuesday, but you know, during a weekday rather than weekends. Children are back at school and everybody's back at work. Right, I'm still following the purple route and I want to get back onto my original route. So what I'm doing, rather than follow the purple route by my map, I've got to do a sharp right, probably here, go down a bit and then take a left and I'm back on my original route. So here we go. All clever stuff. Yep, I'm aiming towards it. Probably in about 20 or 30 yards. 10 odd meters. I'll turn left and then I'm on my original route. Oh, oh. <laughs> what a lovely uh, circle of carved benches. Peace and quiet. I must admit, I really, really needed to get out. Um, I think it was last week. I'm losing track of time now. Last week or the week before when I went out on a, a jaunt. I just couldn't do it, I was that ill. But um, I'm just really, really feeling much better now. And that's, that'll prompt me to start cracking on with the other longer walks that I've got planned. I'm still 
trying to get away for a two day, two night wild camp further down in Kent, in East Kent. But uh, unfortunately at the moment, my cat sitter's in hospital. So uh, again, that's got to go on the back burner. And uh, hopefully he's well enough out of hospital soon, fighting fit and uh, well enough to look after my little baby girl. Well, Cardiac Hill, that's a great name. Looking forward to that. <laughs> Still, got to be done, it's on the route. This will clear my chest, or oh, kill or cure. Well, I'm about halfway up. I'm just gonna not take a break, but there's a, looks like a field or an opening. I just wanna go and see what's in there before I continue upwards. What an absolutely stunning area, quite hilly. I'll just pan round, but forgive me, it'll be uh, going into the sun. Absolutely stunning. Oh well, better crack on up uh, Cardiac Hill. I cannot believe this weather. I'm very lucky, obviously for filming the sun. It's problematic, but uh, hey, don't knock it. You won't see much more of it. All right, back on the stairs. Let's just show you where I came up from. I said, I think it's halfway. I've never been here before, so. We see the gate in the distance down there. Up and up. It's not too bad. I think what uh, one of the main things with it, it's not very muddy either, is that um, the steps are uneven sizes. So they're making you take, well, they're making you want to do big strides rather than the two steps in the wider ones <laughs> there we go there's a bench i might stop there and uh have a coffee well i decided not to stop i just continued to the top i'm a glutton for punishment I'm just taking a slight detour, just a few hundred metres, just to take in some of these views from the top of the hill. Look at the colours. Very, very thick, dense woodland.
Oh, time for a cup of coffee, I think, and a five minute break. Oh, I've got some nice hot coffee. I'm testing out this rather posh lavender, I call it, flask. And uh, I have a new collapsible mug. It's basically a knockoff of uh, the sea, sea the summit. It's got a lid. You pull it out, but you get two, I think two for about six or seven pound. I'll put a link in the description below. I've not used it. I've tried it out indoors and uh, yeah, it does the job. It's probably about twice the weight of the large Cedar Summit mug, but weight's not really an issue for me. I've been out a few hours and see if this has kept it piping hot. Absolutely perfect, it's red hot still. Coffee break over, now I'm uh, back on track. It's an absolutely stunning day. It's just such a shame that autumn's followed by winter. But there you go. Now I'm feeling better, I'll try and make the most of it while I can. back under the cover of the trees now which is nice it is actually quite warm when you're directly in the sun and nice and fresh when you uh, get under the cover of the trees That's the end of today's walk. Um, I've just checked and I've actually walked around about six miles, I believe it was 4.5 kilometers. I think that works out. That's just off the top of my head. The original route that I planned on my Garmin was about four miles, but I get a bit excited and I'm just walking off track and collecting chestnuts and just thoroughly enjoying myself. It's just such a beautiful day to be out. I do love autumn, but as I said earlier, and I keep saying, it's followed by winter. 
I was going to record when I got to the car park. The car park's only about, I swear, 150 metres away, but um, it's quite busy around that area. There's a playground and there's quite a few people turning up now and dog walkers. So I'll do it while it's nice and quiet, while I've got the backdrop of the lake. Anyway, uh, I've got some more walks planned, even this week. Um, just off the top of my head, if I can get there, I want to get to Chartwell, which is not too far away from home, and uh, which is the former home of Sir Winston Churchill, and do a route round there to a place called Toys Hill. Uh, there's others planned. I still want to get the Y one done, which is further down near Ashford, or Canterbury Ashford area. But uh, I'm not sure if I'll get that done this week. We're already at Tuesday. I'll see how I go with that and weather permitting. But at least I'm feeling an awful lot better. Just a tiny bit chesty, but I'm feeling great. I've been out, done a good walk, handled it. And uh, that's all that matters, really. Right, well, I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please give it the thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.